Hi there. Our clients are always asking us what can we do around building engagement through gamification. Well, what better day to talk about the four key elements of gamification than here at the EOH Golf Day at the beautiful Stain City. Come and join us for another episode of That Digital Learning Show. thing you need for a game? Well, the first most important thing is a goal. Something that gives your players a sense of purpose, something that they want to achieve. So in the case of golf, the goal in essence is to get the ball into the hole on each of the various greens uh, and to do so in as few shots as possible. The monopoly, it would be to get the most money at the end of the day. The thing that you need to go and determine is what is the goal what is the purpose of the specific game that you want to play with your learners? So what do they need to achieve? So what's the second essential element for gaming? Rules. Rules provide the necessary framework and restrictions in which you achieve the goal. We could all readily acknowledge that it would be quite simple if the goal is to get the ball into the hole, to take the ball walk across the green from the tee and go drop it in the hole. Surely that's the simplest way to do that. But the following rules are imposed. You need to use these things called clubs to hit the ball and to get it into the hole. And then there's a set of additional rules of things that you need to comply to. And that provides the framework and the structure in which you get to play the game. Now these restrictions um, aren't a bad thing. They're the common agreement for how to play the game and they also create the necessary challenge for people to excel and to achieve in terms of reaching that goal. So look closely at the rules of your game. Within which restrictions are people going to have to play your game? What are you going to limit? What tools must they use to achieve that goal? Now let's look at the third element of gaming, the essential element, and that is a feedback system. Because no one wants to play a game and not know how they're doing or how they're progressing and how far they are from victory or how far they are from achieving that goal. So in golf, you've got a scorecard that you fill in on every single hole as you go through the course and that gives you a clear indication of how well you're doing or how poorly you're doing. So it's key that when you're busy designing your game, you determine and design a proper feedback system that's going to engage and keep your learners engaged throughout them playing the game and getting to that ultimate goal. Hi there guys. Now let's talk about the final essential element to games and that is voluntary participation. Now this one is really close to my heart because I often find that clients say I've developed this great learning game and I expect every single one in my company to play it. It doesn't work that way unfortunately. Um, ideally you want people to voluntarily play your game because that's the only way that they are going to align to the rules that you've put down as well so that everybody's participating on equal terms. Therefore make sure that you build the game as engaging as possible so that people will voluntarily want to compete follow the rules and achieve that goal. Great! So now we've looked at the four key elements of gamification and you should be able to apply this to the games that you develop for your learners in your business. We've had a great day out here at Stain City, the EOH Golf Day and we hope to see you soon for our next episode of That Digital Learning Show. Till next time, cheers.